What's going on guys, Robinson DUP. I've been getting a lot of questions on my Instagram and stuff regarding genetics. So I'm gonna address that right now. Why do I not bother or give a damn about what genetic potential I have or what the genetic calculators say that I should be able to do? If I am looking for an excuse not to be able to look the way I wanna look, then I would use the genetic calculator. When I started bodybuilding, or I should say lifting rather, I was 165 pounds, I had scrawny arms, I was scrawny in general, and a strong breeze probably could have blown me away. And I had committed to the process that I'm just going to get bigger and stronger. However long it takes, I'm just going to take my time and I'm going to get there. And my progress is my progress. I'm not concerned about who's bigger than me. I'm not concerned who has better muscle bellies than me. I'm not concerned about who's stronger than me. I'm not concerned if somebody's getting stronger in their lifts faster than me. I, concern about, I only concern myself with one thing, me. It's always been me, it will always be me. And I never want to sell myself short. Now, may I be delusional, may, may, may I be crazy for thinking this way? I guess you could say that. But I would like to think that I have no limitations on what I can achieve with my body as long as I continue to get my nutrition in line and continue to work on my training. As long as those two are consistent, I will always make gains. Now, some things may grow faster than others, um, some of my lifts may increase fa faster than others. I may hit sticking points. I may hit periods, extended periods of time where really nothing much is going on. But for me, this isn't a sprint. It's not how fast I can get there. For me, this is a journey. It's more like a marathon. For me, it's also a race that's never going to end because no matter how good I get, how big I get, how strong I get, I'm always going to be looking for a way to be bigger, maybe faster. Um, maybe stronger depending on what it is that my particular goals are at this time So I don't give a damn about genetics. I don't care if I have the best muscle bellies or I don't I just focus on one thing everybody keeps obsessing about what your competition is going to be You need to stop you need to stop comparing yourself to everybody else because it really doesn't matter You need to be able to look yourself in the mirror make a plan and stick to it and realize the only thing that's going to hold you back is you. It's always you versus you every day. Now, if you start using a genetic calculator as to what your potential may be, you're selling yourself short. It makes no sense to do that. Why would you try to create a ceiling for yourself when you don't even know what you're even capable of doing yet? As far as I'm concerned, with my body there is no ceiling. There will never be a ceiling. Even if there is one, I'm never going to acknowledge it because I'm always going to look to be better than I was the day before. It may not happen overnight, it might be 10 years from now, it might be 20 years from now. But the fact of the matter is, I am not going to build in any sort of reasoning, justification, or excuse, for that matter, of why I can't achieve what I want to achieve. So, in all honesty, I suggest you do the same. Stop looking for a reason why, you're not, why you can't get the way you want to get. That's a built-in excuse, it's a loser mentality, and you're self-defeating yourself before you get out of the gate. What you should be doing is, Focusing on being consistent on your nutrition, focus on being consistent in the gym, and always be, strive to be better today than you were yesterday. And with that, with that, you will get further in your pursuit of the physique you want than if you do it the other way and start using calculators to tell you what you can achieve. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later.